All right, beauties, I'm finally, yes, I'm late to the party, testing out the Blend Bunny Surge Palette. I'm going in with all of these beautiful purples. I'm going to first go into the deepest purple. I'm going to do more of a round eye shape and really kind of press this in and make sure that it is super intense, super bold. You'll see that I always kind of stamp or press in place first. I try to make sure that I apply it above the hood because obviously I have hooded lids. And of course, I want to make sure that all my work is seen when my eyes are open. Um, I have to say, just off the like very first impression with this, as you guys can see, I was pretty blown away by this. Um, this is a super intense purple, but it blended so incredibly well. It never got patchy or muddy, and you can see I was really layering it. Next up, we're going to go into the next lightest shade called Stay. I'm going into a more kind of shader style brush. And I'm going to go from where I ended the last purple and going to, again, kind of make sure that I go above my hood. I'm going to stamp it in place first, and I'm going to put this into the crease and slightly above, and then just kind of blend it forward a little bit. This was also quite impactful, quite beautiful, also blended out really, really well. Um, I'm leaving the front kind of inner part of the lid bare for now um, and literally just packing this in next to that deeper purple. Next up, I'm going to go in, as I always do, with a clean brush and begin just kind of softening and feathering the edges. Then I went in with this beautiful, very pastel lilac shade called Beckon, and I am going to take that same little fluffy brush and just go over the edges of my shadow, again, to just make sure that my blend is nice and even, and we have a beautiful gradient between all the different shades. Next up, I took a pencil brush back into the pastel lilac shade, and I am just further trying to make sure that my blend is even and the gradient is there. Um, I'm just pretty particular about that, but I mean, everything, as you can see, blended really, really beautiful. Um, and a good tip for this as well is if you can see, I'm kind of taking the shadow in between where I already have shadow placed kind of in between the lighter and darker shades. I wanted to add just a little bit more kind of, I guess, differentiation, differenti, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, so I went into the soft baby pink as well. And then I went into the stark white. Holy crap, you guys, this white is intense, like super, super intense. Um, I used the lightest little grays of the white and I was completely blown away. Um, I, spoiler alert, love this palette. Next up, I'm going into this beautiful shimmer called Euphoric, and I'm going to use my fingers first. Um, I have short nails, so I can do that. Um, if you do not have short nails, you can go in with a wet brush. You can use a glitter primer and use a flat brush. I'm going to go in with a small pencil brush into the exact same shade, and I'm just going to round it out a little bit more and just define it a little bit and make sure that the blend is there. Now I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush in between the lilac and the pink shades and just make sure that everything again has a soft natural gradient to it. Um, and then here is the finished look thus far. I am going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Ease Drops in the shade 8. This is seriously one of my Holy Grail foundations now. I really, really love it. It self-sets. It's beautiful. Next up is my Bare Minerals Faux Tan Bronzer. I'm going in with my Empress Me brushes. This bronzer smells delicious, you guys. Um, I love the tone of it. I love how blendable it is. It's just, it's beautiful. What can I say? It's absolutely stunning. Next up, I went in with my Uden's Eye Blush. This is the shade Apricot Girl. Uh, absolutely stunning. I love it. Again, very blendable. Doesn't get patchy, doesn't stick in place or anything like that. Um, it's just stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. Then I'm going in with a new product to me, the La Belle Diamond Highlighter um, with my Empress Me brush. Like, oh my gosh, look how beautiful this is. It reminds me of the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. I will say you can probably see it upon first application. It definitely is gleaming, beaming in your face, but it will show texture until you really blend it out. Um, so kind of at first, I liked it. I liked the intensity of it, but you can see I really, really tried to make sure that I blended it out. If you do have drier, more textured skin like I do, it is definitely going to show with this. Um, I do always spray my complexion and kind of press it out with a sponge. Once I did that, I didn't feel like it was showing as much texture, but just an FYI on that. I went in, of course, with my Illamasqua spray. I am almost completely done with this spray. It is amazing. All right, to finish up the lower lash line, I kind of wish you guys were with me because I was debating on either the neon pink, the neon green, or the neon yellow. Uh, so yeah, I think I should have asked you guys for some help, but I went ahead and went with the neon yellowy color for the inner corner, uh, quite intense, quite impactful. 
I'm telling you, the this palette, it just, it's a palette done right, in my personal opinion. Um, this was super intense, absolutely beautiful. I packed it just on the inner corners, and I think that it looks so pretty. Now I'm going in with the neon pink. I'm going to take the pencil brush, but it's kind of a more fluffy pencil brush, if you will, um, and doing kind of a light dusting on the lower lash line. Then I'm going to go in with a firm, short, packed shader brush. Um, and I'm going to go in and kind of use it more as like a liner to define the lower lash line. Like, holy crap, look at the pigment. Um, stunning. And of course, yellow and pink are my favorite colors. And this was just such a fun look. I finished off the look with the Item Beauty Gloss in the shade Moon and my Maybelline Sky High, the brand new Cosmic Black. I am obsessed. What do y'all think? I love you beauties. Stay happy, healthy, and safe, and be your own best beautiful. P.S. What colors do you want me to use next?